Hello, I've been requested to uh, provide a quick video on how to merge two astrophotography layers. Like M42, a short exposure and a long exposure. A long exposure is required to get the depth of the outer part of the nebula and the short exposures um, to get the detail on the normally overexposed central area of the nebula and you want to get the two together. Um, I'm going to use um, GIMP2, uh, two, a 2.8, um, which is a freeware program rather than using Photoshop because um, I like to try and do everything with freeware if you can. Um, and then uh, that makes it easier for those people who just want to try it out. So uh, the first thing to do then is to load that up and get familiar with how that works. Um, and then you need two windows up which you can set from within uh, GIMP. You need a layers and brushes uh, window which is this one and then you need a tool options window which is this one here. So the first thing to do is to open one of the two images and I would choose the short one first um, as a layer. And there it is opened as a layer and then and you can see it here this is it and this eye here means you can see it or not okay uh, the next thing to do is to open the um, the long exposure image as a layer as well and there we are we now have the two layers this is the sh short exposure sorry this is the short exposure this is the long exposure so you can select which one you want to look at there's the short and then there's the long so the first thing to do is to uh, select a tool that will enable you to move the two and align them so you go to transform tools and move and select that now you can move the images so that they actually align and a way of seeing that is to turn the long exposure one off and see if the two are aligned and they're obviously not so you need to move it a bit more this way until you get the two exactly aligned and you can see that from looking at the stars and if they actually move then they're not aligned properly that's not far off but it's still a little bit out I think Right, so it needs to move just a bit that way. Right, now you can see these are the short exposure stars and they now line up with the long exposure stars. The next thing to do is to um, create what's called a layer mask. So you click on the first one here and add layer mask and what you do is you make it white full opacity um, and add now um, as you s spray with an airbrush or something this particular area you'll be able to see through this image to the image underneath which enables you to to let the short exposure image fill in this overexposed area so now you need to select a tool uh, which is uh, a paint tool, the airbrush, and you can select um, a particular type of um, airbrush pattern which is soft on the outside like that which is rather good and you can select a size at the moment it's very small indeed so you change the size of that airbrush to the size of the pattern that you want that's probably a bit big so let's make it a bit smaller and then you start spraying with I think it's black um, it will be black that you spray basically to make the template uh, transparent you start to spray it like this and through from the underneath comes the the airbrushed area uh, the um, the short exposure image so as you can see there the um, the short exposure is coming through from underneath 
So that's it basically. Now you could do it in different ways. You could do it the other way round, which is load the images the other way round and put the mask on the other one and then have the outer side. But this is obviously the quickest just for a demonstration. So you can see here. You can actually look at the the mask um, here. You can see how, well, what's been sprayed. And, and if you want to, you can actually um, tidy that up by um, spraying differently. You could spray up here so that it's um, all of that image underneath comes through in that area so then when you turn it back on again you get the whole of that image like that and it's not overexposed obviously there are all sorts of refinements you can do um, to this the next thing to do is to merge the two layers um, under layers um, and you uh, merge them down, uh, merge down to one layer. So that's now one layer. And then you can then crop that so that it's just the image here because the, don't forget they were not exactly aligned originally and you end up with one common image. So tools, um, I think you can crop it. Uh, selection tools, um, let me have a look image transform no, view select okay the first thing you do then is to select an area select the correct so selection tools rectangle select and then select that area and so that there's no um, edge problems and then I think you can go to crop to selection here and that's actually cropped it and y you can then save that image as um, another JPEG just do a save um, Oh, I think you need a save as file save as right and here it is here um, crop m42 and save it as um, a GIMP file first of all so that's fine, you've saved that, and now you can actually export it to something else, which could be a JPEG, for example. Um, right, where's JPEG? Here we are, JPEG image, um, or a PNG image, and export. So you've then converted it to an image type that you can display on the PC. Um, and that's the way you do it. You can also, of course, change the intensity of the colors and all those sort of things by other tools that are within the set. But the most difficult thing was doing this overlay of the two parts uh, using a layer map. So that's it. Hope you find that okay.